Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to show everybody kind of like my little setup that I have for making my spinners. It seems that my casting ability isn't always the greatest during the summer, so sometimes I seem to uh, snag up, which is quite a bit, and with spinners being about $7 a piece, it really stinks not, uh, you know, going through quite a few of them, especially when you get stuff cut on snags, like underground, underwater, uh, like tree branches, stuff like that, so... Uh, rocks, whatever, but they seem to be all over the place. I got like, uh, you know, my tools. You need like a little cutter. That's important. You need like a little needle nose pliers. Uh, is this, oh, these are just parts for other ones that I would like put together and stuff. No big deal. Um, actually here we got some, like, I got my hooks. I got my bars. You can get them pretty cheap off of like, uh, eBay. Uh, I get beads, I get them at Walmart. Um, get them pretty cheap in the whatever section there, like uh, sewing and the little kits and stuff. Now the spinners, I picked the spinners up off of, hmm, what was it, eBay. And they were pretty cheap, they were like two bucks for a whole big bag full of them. I got these, these are just like, I just paint these. They're my weights. Um, I just, you know, paint them different colors, you know, with like silver or pretty much bronze because that's what seems to work the best in the creeks I got my clevises right there and you know that's for my spinners get them moving sometimes some of them are in line they don't even need these whatsoever so uh yeah so here's my whole setup also what I do is I uh I have this board here and I take it put a nail on the end of it and here I'm gonna set my stuff on the tripod and I'll show you and I take this and I stick it to the actual desk and it'll be like on here like this with a vise and I'll kind of vise it on there and then I can start making them and then here I'll shut the camera off for a second I'll turn it back on and show you the process what I did was kind of cool I just kind of had to figure out an idea here while I'm sitting at my desk you know I'll sit on the computer and stuff and how can I make spinners without having to really go out in the garage and get on the bench and the whole nine yards so you got a little vise you know and I stick it right to the drawer little piece of wood you know just some like fencing board or something just take a little nail in the middle of it kind of powdered in there good nice and secure it's not going anywhere get the vise on there nice and tight it's not going to go anywhere whatsoever and there's my kit so then all I have to do is just kind of work on it right here all nice and close I don't have to worry about losing anything get anything stuck out in the in the here we go like nothing in the carpet that's very important all right be back in a second all right, just a fair warning. I tend I tend to make really ugly ass spinners because you know I'm really not that good at it yet. I've only been doing it for a short period of time, so I'm not like super fantastic. All right, I'm not going to use one of the clevises or I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, we'll get our spinner going. We just use like one of these little spinners, zing, they're ready to go. Just put one right on there right away if you want. Or usually what I would do is I would. Take a bead, we'll go with the uh, a silver one here. we we'll get something for it to spin on a little bit. Um, let me see. Here we are. We got the bead. Get this going. Do, 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 do. And once you get it through the hole, it's pretty fast. You can get these going pretty quick. This one here, I'll just make it for now, but more than likely, I'll probably scrap this one. And make another one with it later. It's just kind of an example. You know, you can just kind of line the bead up there. Pretty simple, pretty cool. Get another bead. You can go for a small one, another silver one. Whatever color ones that you want to use. I usually use the silver with the silver, but right now I'm just trying to use this for an example to kind of give an idea of what I'm doing. And I got the two beads. They're right next to the spinner. Then I would take one of these weights. Got the weight here. All right, that's why usually I'd paint these so they wouldn't be this color, but I'm just doing this as an example. And then you can slide it on there like this. Let me see here, have a little trouble. And there we go. So you got that on there. The spinner is moving good. 
get a little bit of weight. So, and then what I'll do at the end here, just, you know, whatever, make it kind of big and shiny. I've had some of the gaudiest, ugliest looking spinners that you'd ever see on this planet. Took them out to the stream, threw them in there, dragged them back. I had actually had one that had like six inline spinners in a row. So it was just a big spinning mess. And this big gigantic trout came out of nowhere and nailed it. Anyways, here we go. We take this now, we got the pliers. And you got it out here, you can see it, I'm grabbing it. Let me see, grab it here if I remember correctly. It's been a little bit since I made them. And then you spin it around there like that, just kind of get it started. Get, get it spun down so it's a little bit tight. Right there, you get a little round at a ledge. And it's pretty simple to do. Get yourself a little hook. Any different sizes? I am not 100% sure what sizes these are. Maybe a six? Or is it maybe, I don't know, eight? Not 100 percent sure. I have not. It's been a while since I bought them. Um, here we go. I'll show you here. You take this and just kind of put it right on there, like that. And you put it back on here like this. And grab it like this. Oh, yeah. How the heck did I do it? It was like a long time ago that I've done this. Oh, okay. I would normally pinch it like this, get right in the crosshairs, and just spin it like this. Just keep spinning it. You can even do it by hand and just kind of spin it up. Spin it up a little more. Spin it up. I see that's why I'm saying mine aren't perfect, you know, by no means. If you see it, it's kind of like. Get your nice little fat little round end. Mine's kind of big on this one here. It could be a lot tighter, but that's where it is right there. There's a little little hair chunk hanging off the end. You know, a little piece of metal. And at this point, you just take your little metal snippers here. Get down here as close as you can possibly get onto it. Give it a little clip. Kind of put your hand around it so it doesn't go, there you go. Don't go flying across the room or Step on it later because that can't be any good. All right, throw that in the container, and there you go. Trout spinner, easy, simple, fast, easy. And it's kind of ugly. You can get actually nicer ones, and, and it won't be so ugly. But I mean, look at this it's just a bead spinner right there. Everything works great. You can paint this little, little uh, lead weight, you can paint it, it all fits nice. You can put red hooks on there, whatever you want to kind of make it shinier. but. Basically, that right there is going to nail it. Um, one other thing we've done too is that we've taken some glue from time to time, and you could get some like uh, like some feathers or something like that, like a boa or something like you can get at Goodwill or something like that, and, and you cut some little feather chunks off, and you could put some super glue on here and around the end, and you could just run some boa, like little fur, little like because you get them in those different colors of like red and orange and everything else. They're really cheap, like a dollar or something, you know, and then you can run them right off of here. And you got little tails, you can put little tails on each one if you want, or you can go without a tail. I usually just go tighter of a circle and then, uh, I don't know, tailless, because I like it just all silver and shiny, and when it's coming across that sandbar in the sun, those trout are looking at that thing, and they're just going, like, ape shit. So, anyways, thank you very much, and, uh, yeah, that's just the way I make my, uh, my spinners and save a bunch of money. Thank you very much, and have a good night. Later.